mindset impact the results that you get in any type of program that you do? In any nutrition change, exercise change, even taking supplements, any type of health change. How does your mindset impact? It, it, it's, a, it's a huge, huge impact. I'm gonna talk about a few things here and write this down, but one of the things I wanted to just kind of dive into um, it are mindset things that I implement into the programs that I have for women who I work with. Um, be, and I, the reason I put that in there is because it helps support, get and keep the best results possible long term. Now for what I do, and I'm Dr. Beth Westy, women's health and hormone expert. I am author of the books, The Female Fat Solution, The Female Menopause Solution. These are on Amazon where you can learn more about how to eat for your hormones in your cycle, all of that. Um, I'm also host of the podcast, The Female Health Solution, and you can subscribe there as well as subscribe here to my YouTube channel. Um, but when we look at mindset overall, there's a few things that I have, like how you do anything is how you do everything. It's not my saying originally, but it's something I repeat and say a lot to people because it does impact your ability to follow through with things and keep going with things. But in diving into the mindset piece of it, I believe, honestly, it is a huge, 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 huge impact on your ability to get results. If you are just trying to force yourself to make changes for a negative reason, I need to eat differently because I am too fat. Then the entire reason you're doing something is because you feel bad about yourself. What? <laughs> right? That's not a good, healthy way to keep going with something. If you constantly feel bullied by other people in your life about what you're eating, whether it be too much or too little or whatever, I, so many women I talk to that they have a hard time sticking with a, an eating plan that they like, they want to do, they feel better eating that way overall, but they go off of this plan around the holidays because people push food on them. Oh, what do you mean you're not eating that? I made this pie. You're not going to have it? Not even one slice? It's not going to kill you. Ugh. And it's like, dude, stop taking it so personally about what I eat. What? People who are told they can't finish, can't leave the table until you finish your plate. Got to be part of the clean plate club. Or just saying like, no, thank you to something being offered to you and then you being made to feel like you just threw food in their face. Their feelings and reactions and how you have been shamed or made to feel like you are somehow doing something wrong when you are not can coerce you into not continuing with things that you want to continue with. Essentially going against what you had set out to and then you feel bad and guilty for the whole process because then you ate the thing or did the thing or whatever, right? Um, I've worked with women who, this is another example, where they will, you know, they will be with like say living with a partner, a male partner and the male partner's like, oh, I'm putting on a little bit of weight there. Maybe you should do something about that. You just need to get to the gym more, blah, 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 blah. So they're like, okay, they go to the gym more and they're trying to eat healthier and all this stuff. Then he goes to the grocery store, which he typically doesn't do, comes home with a bunch of garbage food, junk food, candy, cookies, chips, ice cream, and has it around the house all the time. When you literally made a point to clear things out of the house, so you're like, I'm trying to eat healthier and cleaner. I just don't want that stuff at home. Well, just don't eat it then. Da -da 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 -da. That's not a supportive person that's going to help you. Your mindset is related to all these things around you. So it's about giving you the right tools to take this through. One of the things that I talk about a lot in my program, the Female Hormone Solution Program, is called the 90-10 Rule. Now this is not my original thing. I did not make this up, but it applies in a lot of different areas of your life. That's the other thing when I talk about mindset, a lot of these areas here where you're stuck with your health, your hormones, your results, they can apply to other areas of your life. This is just a sticking point for certain reasons, right? Women have been made to feel ashamed for how they look, body image issues, all these other things. You know, disordered eating was glamorized in a lot of magazines, movies, TV shows, all this stuff, all through the 80s, 90s, and 2000s. Um, and now we are <laughs> trying to unravel all of that, right? So the 90-10 rule, 10% 10 of life is just what happens to you. 90% is how you respond. 
90% is how you respond. I like those odds. I like those odds. The problem here is when we're talking about mindset, oftentimes our response is an automatic response where we're not even like thinking about it. We don't even get the opportunity to stop and think for a moment about what we're doing. But that's why we dive into all this mindset work in the program, the Female Hormone Solution Program. This is actually the resource guide that you get with the program. And what I wanna show you is there's a roadmap of going through it, all of those things, do, 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 do. We have every week laid out, there's questions. Okay, and then there's a journal. We go through thoughts and processes that you have for month one. Then you have a page for every day of the week that you mar mark down what your focus is and all those things. But there's actually an entire sheet of notes here for the weekly mindset group coaching that we go through, right? And we talk of attitude is everything, 90-10 rule. And what I just told you is what I share with gals. And this is something that you can carry over to everything. And it's not that you can't change or all these other things. Oftentimes, just no one's talked to you about these specific things that you can implement to really shift and think about it like, oh, I don't have to do it like that or I can set a boundary around this and here are some words that you can use. Here's examples. Here's stories of other hundreds of other women that I have worked with that have had the same issue as you. You are not alone in this. And just knowing that, understanding that and having that guidance going through it can literally make all the difference in the world for you. Understanding the mindset piece is something that allows you to be successful not only now but in the future, which is my goal for all the women that I work with. So that's what I got for you guys today. Thank you for tuning in. Thank you for being here and sharing this message with other women. I know that the reason gals get such great results is because it is a community driven thing. And I have you guys to thank for that. So I appreciate you a ton. Let me know if there's anything else. You can go below this video, click that link, get on the wait list for the next program I am running. And of course, if you have any other questions, do not hesitate to reach out to me.